basketball fans, welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School as we are getting ready for girls basketball action on what is a Monday night, the ninth day of December. It's non-conference this time of the year. It's the Lady Cadets of Hilltop that have made the trip from West Unity to be entertained by the Hicksville Lady Aces. Hi, everybody. I am Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us. Chris Warner alongside behind the camera tonight. And on the other side of me, calling the play-by-play -play this evening, Mr. Jim Seiler. And Jim, uh, small school, obviously only six gals on the roster. They haven't uh, really posted starting lineups because I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's yeah. only six of them here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, they. Uh, I saw them uh, play at Stryker first game of the season, and it was like a game of futility. No, oh, okay. You know, so that's the JV game. Varsity game was uh, extremely exciting. It ended up 41-39. So Stryker took their measure. Yeah, and, and the uh, Lady Aces JV squad is likewise sort of blown hot and cold so far yeah. this season as well. So we'll see how things go. The uh, JV coach is uh, Kevin Schaffner for the uh, Lady Cadets. Ah, we finally got a lineup. There we go. So Okay, I'll give it to you. Uh, starting for Hilltop. They have number four, Jocelyn Jones. And uh, let's see. Number 23. Uh, Jones is a sophomore at 5'5". Five, five. Number 23 is Jama Bailey, a freshman at 5'4". Number 25. 26. 26. 26. Ah. Okay. Maya, Mia well, Hancock. Yeah, 26 okay. is an illegal number. So okay, it's got to be 25. Yeah. Mia Hancock, freshman at 5'6". And number 31 is Casey Conley, a sophomore at 5'4". And the last one on the list is number 32, Annika White-Wright. And she's a freshman at 5'9". And tip is controlled by the cadets. Lady Cadets. They pull it out. Jones has it out front. We'll fill yeah. in the starting five for the Lady Aces here shortly. Down it goes low and rebound to Bailey pulls it out of there. Bailey's been pretty active as a rebounder. On the floor to start for the Lady Aces, number three is Leah Seitz. Number four is McKeegan Bailey, as we were just mentioning. Number five out on the floor, Sydney Bland. Oh, okay. And we're gonna have a two shot foul. Jeff Hott is serving as a referee, but he does not. It, he was a last-minute substitution, so he doesn't have the striped shirt. Well, so, his his replacement is in the dressing room. Yeah, so he's just filling in temporarily. So if you're wondering who the weird guy is walking around in street clothes on the court, first shot is no good. The foul went to Lindsey Bergman. She's number 22, also starting tonight. And the last starter for the Lady Aces, number 30, is Alyssa Seitz. And Miss Hancock, Mia Hancock, missed both free throws. So Bailey has the ball down here on the baseline, puts a shot up, and it's over the rim, rebounded by 31, Casey Conley. Conley gives it to Jones, goes in the corner to Hancock. And she missed two free throws, but she hit a three from outside, I think. A long two there, Sam. Just a long two. And we should mention that uh, well, they've got a couple other girls on the bench for Hilltop, but we'll see whether they get them substituted in. The other one on the roster, number 35, Emily Merrifield. Not sure whether she made the trip with them tonight or not. So they may just have a couple off the varsity standing by just in case. Oh, Hilltop has the ball out of bounds. It's at a cross 10 second line. They have a Bailey number 23. Oh, out of bounds and last touch by Miss Bergman. So both teams have a Bailey on the floor right now. <laughs> That's not confusing at all. McKeegan. Pass inside, 31 gets the inbound pass. Casey Conley and makes the two-pointer. Leah Seitz gets it down the floor Whoops. and it goes over the head of 
Miss Bergman. Yep. Out of and bounds. Out of bounds. We're going to have a quick timeout with a score 4 0 with the cadets in the lead. <laughs> yes. yes, indeed. Uh, Coach Ryan Miser, uh, I think, is sensing that this game could easily get out of hand quickly. Uh, and so he needs to calm his girls down and get them focused because. Uh, the passing that they did up the floor yeah. here just last time to try to get around the press was was not what it should not, have been. Not good. Yeah. Break huddle. Just a quick 30-second timeout. Leaves four for the Lady Aces for the balance of the game. It'll be Cadets ball. Side court. That's Jama Bailey. Pass down, Ooh. and they do the same thing. She throws it <laughs> out of bounds. She's just like, whoop. Tip for tat, man. <laughs> Leah Seitz with the ball. Coming up four. It's the typical, the typical young player's mistake. Pull across 10 second line and pick up the ball. Yep. Jump ball and Back to the cadets it goes. Bailey inside with the pass, gets the ball back, and it's stolen by Lindsay Bergman. Bergman yeah. oh, and and she Bailey it takes it back. And she loses the dribble. There we go. Jones is it out to Conley. Conley to Jones. To Bailey, bring it around. 25 gets a shot, Hancock. And it's rebounded by Jones. Nice pass, oh. it's intercepted, but it was a nice looking pass. Bergman, oh, oh yes. Almost a travel, recovering and the pass. It would have been a good pass too. Hand wouldn't have gotten away because she was hitting the right person. Oh. Number 31, Casey Conley with another two-pointer. Six-nothing Hilltop, and Conley has four. So Leah Seitz up the floor to Bland. Back intended for Seitz, and the give and go did not go. They're just, they're throwing the passes maybe just a little bit too high, Jim, I guess, uh, and they, in a way, they kind of have to because they've got some good wingspans on the uh, cadets' uh, squat side of the ball. Yeah. And they've been able to reach up and get a hold of some of those passes. Marina Mazur is in the ball game for Hicksville, as is number two, Jade Sigmund. And a girl that just came in for Hilltop, number zero, zero. is Americus. America. America's Maddox. Okay. She got a two-pointer. So that's one of your <laughs> varsity players that just came up. Bergman gets a two-pointer. Playing a little Annie, o Annie I over. Ball's out front, goes to Bailey, shot off the glass. Rebound being scrapped for, and Jade Sigmund ties it up with Hancock. It'll be Ace's ball on the possession era. 8-2 Hilltop, two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Bergman quickly up the floor, saying, get away from me, Nat. And she reaching. gets fouled by Jones. That'll be the first team foul on Hilltop. And Jones is first. That was Seitz inbounds the ball to Bergman. She looks inside, gives it back out to Seitz, and goes out of bounds off Seitz. Into the game for Hicksville was Tori Perna, number one, and number four returns, Bailey. Make Keegan Bailey. She 
Hancock will have a seat for the... Nice give and go. 31 gets open. 22, another foul on Bergman. That'll be two on Lindsay early. 142 to go in open, our opening quarter. Sites, Leah Sites ready to check back in for the Lady Aces. And Americus at the line. Gets the free throw. Americus is a junior and a uh, two-year letter winner on the varsity. <laughs> They've won this game. It's at All's Fair in Love War and Junior Varsity Basketball. Yes. <laughs> Jones gets a shot and makes oh, it. Oh, no. at a 12 to two game. Rena Missouri with the shot and it's rebounded by Bailey. Bailey up the floor, trying to get around the corner and she's hand checked by McKeegan Bailey. And Bailey will get her first person. Team foul number three. Jones to inbound it. 31, wanting that ball. <laughs> Bailey gets tied up by Missouri, and it'll be Hilltop ball out of bounds under their hoop. And we've got the other, other official here ready to check in, I probably imagine, at the quarter break. Oh, Rebound by Americus. That'll be six points for Ms. Maddox. Sites, there's the ball up. Bailey, back to Sites. Leah with it. Over to Torrey. Perna down inside and the pass to Sigmund and she is pushed. 23, Bailey gets the foul. Bailey's first and team foul number two. Hancock in the game for Bailey for Hilltop. Missouri. Is it up off the glass? Oh. Too hard. Nice shot, though. She hammers a three. <laughs> 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 she hasn't missed yet. Right with the ball out on the corner. Ball oh. being batted around. Pass inside to Conley. Under 15 seconds. Conley pulls it out, goes back to the lane. Jones with it. Is it over to right? Right. Five. Doesn't, doesn't know how to dribble, it looks like. She just wants to pivot. Yep. And Hancock ends up holding the ball. And at the end of the first quarter of play, it's the Hilltop Cadets, the JVs, 14, and the Aces, two. We've got a little time here between quarters, and that's a good time to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our girls' basketball coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford want to uh, let you know how much they support the schools and the athletic endeavors of the kids here at Hicksville, and they are more than happy to help us out in bringing you coverage here on Hicks TV throughout the entire 2019-20 season, regular season and on the tournament trail as well. We wanna thank them so very much for their continued support. I think it's almost 10 years now that they have been underwriting our Ace of Sports coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. We thank them so very much and hope that you will do the same. You see Jim, his lovely wife, Carol, any of their employees, make sure you let them know how much you appreciate being able to watch Ace of Sports on Hicks TV. They're the ones that make it possible the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford. The Jim Schmidt truck lot. And, of course, online at jimschmidtauto.com. Hilltop coming back out on the floor. They have 
Bailey, number 23, number 31 is Conley, number zero is America's Maddox. Maddox. 25 is Hank. <laughs> Maya Hancock. Oh, thank you. Well, is it Maya or Mia? Well, those Mia. Are Mia Hancock. That's our interpretation. Yeah. Like in Mama Mia. Yes. Shot this up. Bergman's oh. shot bounces around and off Hilltop with the rebound. There's a travel. This will get the ball back on the turnover. Mr. Hawk got relieved <laughs> from his officiating position, which he's relieved of for <laughs> it. So we got Leo two sites. guys in striped shirts out yes. there. There we go. We're official now. Tori Perna in the corner, trying to get the ball away and turn the wrong direction. You just don't pivot into the defense. They tie you up and you lose the ball. Yep, you just don't wanna, don't wanna get ha caught holding the ball down in the corner or too close to the sidelines. <laughs> All those things. Yep. Bailey, oh. baseline gets a lay in. Her first two. I'm surprised that's her first points of the night. I, I, she's been playing really well. Yeah. Bland. It's the ball inside. Sykes loses her balance and loses the ball. Bailey will check back in and Perna will step out for the Lady Aces. Conley oh. gives it to Americas. That was a nice move, a nice bounce pass. Eight for Miss Maddox. Lady Aces really need to put together something offensively here. Oh, nice way to get off your feet. Right down low is just cleaning up on some of the boards for the cadets. Hancock from the corner for Hilltop. She missed and Leah Seitz got the rebound. Pass back to Seitz. Bland with it. At the free throw line, gives it up to Alyssa Seitz. Bailey out front. Going to shoot it. Oh, a little bit too hard. Hilltop rebound. Out of and bounds. Long pass. Out of bounds. Jones back in the game for the cadets. Sigmund will come in for Alyssa. Sites for the Lady Aces. And you know, Jim, it's kind of a lopsided score, 18 to 2, but. This could easily be like 18 to 10 because uh, the Aces have just had a lot of shots that just in and out, bouncing along the, the rim and just or not shot, going down. Shot bang too hard. Yep. Going to be tied up. Five second count. Everybody's standing back and watching her pivot and she's... <laughs> All they need to do is go get the ball from her. It's like being on an island by yourself. Mm. Right gives it into Bailey, down low to Miss Maddox. She's, She's got now 10 points now. Got 10. There's, there's a difference between a two year letter person <laughs> yep. and, and JV players. Bailey with the ball, misses the lay-in. It's going to be out of bounds to Hilltop. It's off of Bergman. Yep. Bowser back into the game. And it'll be, um, Bland will set down. Out, yep. Hancock to inbound it to Bailey. 
gets it into Americas, and oh. she's good for another two. Gives her 12 big ones. Shot put up, nice looking shot by Bailey from the elbow and off the rim and back. Hilltop has it down, Hancock misses everything. And steps on the end line. It's a nice try from Emil or Annika Wright. Casey Conley back in the ball game for the cadets. Across the timeline with about two minutes left to go in the half. Miss Maddox ran out of gas and had to sit down. Mm. Ball deflected out of bounds by Hancock. Bergman to inbound it. Come and get the ball. Quit running away. There you go. Sigmund with it into the lane and she gets fouled. A slap by Jones. It'll be her second. And team foul number three. Mazur across to Leah Seitz to Bergman from the elbow. It's short. Slap back Ooh. in by Bailey but it's recovered by Hilltop. Hancock gave it to Bailey and back to Hancock and she goes oh. the length of the floor. Four points for Miss Hancock. Bailey. Whoops. A little too much on that one yeah. over the back of the backboard. She shot from 14 and she used enough muscle for 20. <laughs> Perna will check back in. Missouri and Bailey set down. Yep. Lands back in yeah, also. I knew another one had to have come in. And Wright will have a seat for Hilltop as Americus will come back out. Or Maddox will come back in, I should say. Nice block by Bergman. She's going to pick up her third. Oh, no, it's not her. It's number three. Leah Seitz. Her first and team foul number four. Ooh, Connolly with a good looking free throw in and out. Missed them both. Hmm. Maddox fighting for the rebound. It's Pulls it out of there. Bailey to Hancock oh. from two. Six points for Mia. 26 to two. 45 seconds to go in the half. I think this game has gotten out of hand. Yeah. Bergman to Leah Seitz puts up a runner. Oh, it's there good. We go. It's a long time coming. Yes. Break the scoring ice. When we're down to 30 seconds, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're thinking, well, there goes another quarter. Two points per quarter average, and that's not going to win you a lot of ball games. No. Maddox loses it, and it's still loose on the floor. Bergman sort of got it out of there, and it, they're still rolling around trying to. That'll be yeah, over it's in over and back now. Yep. <laughs> Maddox finally got the ball. She just pushed it clear of the fray. But unfortunately, nobody from Hilltop able to get to it before it crossed the center court line. And since she was in possession of it. Yes. So three, two, two off the glass and rebound end. by Conley. And that's the end of the first quarter of play with the Hilltop Cadets on top of the Aces 26 to four. Mm -hmm. Well, it's halftime and we're going to take a break, but we invite you to stay tuned. Jim and I will be back and we will have all of the second half play by play coming your way right here on Hicks TV.
Hey, we're back here for the second half of this JV game. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of the scoring. Uh, 26 by Hilltop, They're led by uh, America Maddox. She has 12 points. Then you go down to Mia Hancock with six. Casey Conley had four. And Jamma Bailey, she has two. And Jocelyn Jones also has two for their 26. For Hicksville, they have a total of four. A shot by uh, Lindsey Bergman in the first quarter and one by Leah Seitz in the second quarter. So they haven't gotten shut out in a quarter. Yeah, but <laughs> not doing much else. <laughs> That's true. They have just not been able to get their offense to click. The passes yeah. have just been a, a little bit off uh, in that first half. And uh, a lot of good looking shots from the Lady Aces, just not quite able. I mean, they had a lot that were going in and out, bouncing along the rim, and they had some a, good looking shots that just would not go down. They had a lot of open shots, you know, but, you know, they're, they're freshmen, and they're like in a state of shock when they get the ball <laughs> and they're that open. You know, you got to have somebody hanging on you, yep. that kind of thing. So. A uh, bunch to talk about, I'm sure, in the uh, locker room over halftime. And, uh, again, the, the Hilltop Lady Cadets got to be pleased with the job that they've done. Of course, again, they uh, they only had uh, – they, they normally have six on their roster uh, for the junior varsity. One was not able to dress tonight, so they wanted to be able to do a substitution. So they brought in a junior, Miss Maddox, America's Maddox, who got 12 points. And she's really made the difference. She's sort of been like a, an anchor for the, the team to sort of revolve around a little bit. And she's managed to get the job done, uh, some of their yeah. offensive possessions. They keep looking for her. Yep. So we'll switch ends of the field and get the second half underway. Now Miss Bland gives the ball up to Bailey. Bailey down low to Miss Bland, and yeah. it bounces Notice. twice, and it's off the rim. Back to Sigmund, back to Bland from Another 17, and yep. it's in and out. Up the Ooh. floor and off the hands of Hancock is the pass. So goes back to the Aces. Leah Seitz bringing it up. Bailey harassing her and knocked the ball away and out of bounds. Bland in the corner to Sigmund. Sigmund back to Bailey. Bailey from the side. It's off the side of the backboard and Hilltop comes away with it. Hilltop's Bailey dribbles the length of the floor and off her foot and it goes back to the Aces. Cross the timeline again with Leah Seitz. Bailey with the shot from the wing and it's not gonna fall. Conley to rebound and she's up the floor. Into the lane, down low to Bailey. Bailey, lining it up. And the ball comes off to Bland. Bland, look down the floor. Oh. Bailey with it. Conley over to Jones. Jones back to Conley. She's in the lane looking, getting it back out to Bailey. Pass underneath. Goes to Hancock. And she's got two more. Gives her eight. Land. Not able to get it over the the height of 
Oh, Bailey. nice block. Perna will check in for the Lady Aces, and Maddox is going to check in for Hilltop. Sigmund will have a seat for Hicksville, and uh, Annika Wright will sit down for the Cadets. Oh, America's missed one. Ball's tied up and goes to Hilltop. Jones will inbound it. Oh, gonna be Hancock now. <laughs> Shifting the personnel around the very last second. Goes outside to Miss Maddox. Pass inside to Hancock mm. off the glass and good. 10 points for Hancock, Mia Hancock. Bland. Pass deflected. Tori gets it and has it taken away from her by Bailey. Sigmund heading into the locker room. Another floor length pass goes off a hand and it's back to Hicksville again. Missouri in the game for Alyssa Seitz for the Aces. Land to Seitz. Back to Bland in the corner to Tori Perna. Perna needs some help. Gets it out of there. Almost loses it. Saved before it goes across the timeline again. Go around her. There you go. Pass inside. There you go. Too hard. Bailey with the rebound, and she's up the floor with it. Maddox missed the shot, rebound, missed it. To Conley, Conley doesn't miss. She's got six points. 32 to four. Mm. Conley with the steal. Hancock. In the lane, runner no good. Leah Seitz with the rebound. Deflected. Maddox, the steal, gives to Bailey. Jones with the ball. To Hancock, and it's Ooh. good. 12 points for Hancock. Go under a minute here in quarter number three, and another deflection out of bounds. <coughs> Aces will hang on to it. Alyssa Seitz back into the game for Hicksville. Annika right in for the cadets. Bailey will have a seat. Missouri tied up and travels. Miss Bland with the foul. That'll be the first foul committed in this entire second half. Yeah, yeah. Sydney's first, team foul number one for the half. Got Hancock back at the line. Hmm. Short on the first. Second is good. She's at 13. Tori missed the shot. 
Rebound, Hilltop, Hancock to Conley. Bailey with the shot from 17, it's no good. Out of bounds to the cadets. <clears throat> Bailey to Hancock, short. Rebound comes off Bland, gets it to Perna, up the floor, ball knocked away, Perna gets it back, down low to Missouri, and it's no good, and at the end of the third quarter, it is 35 to four, Hilltop. We'll get ready for the last six minutes of junior varsity basketball for this evening, and while we're at the quarter break, we'll say another big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. If you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that is brand spanking new or pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, you owe it to yourself to stop by and check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. Always got new stuff coming in and a nice selection of uh, quality pre-owned vehicles as well. If you don't see what you're looking for, let the folks at Jim Schmidt know. They always do their best to find you exactly the vehicle that you are interested in because it is all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio. So proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters again for the 2019-20 season. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. And if Jim Schmidt was a farmer, he's got a lot of uh, acreage out there <laughs> under asphalt now. That's true. <laughs> now, they were out there the other day pouring that asphalt. My golly. Yep, they're getting truck ready. Truck after truck. Oh, yeah. It's going to be quite the... Uh, the facility when they when they have yeah. it done they're gonna have a lot of room for a lot of inventory and a lot of other neat stuff going on so looking forward to it well, it looks like uh, miss bergman is done for the night yes yes they put a shirt on her shot from sigmund no good jade battling for the rebound doesn't quite get it Bailey with the ball for the cadets. There's the Hancock from three. No. Got it. It's the first three-pointer of the game. There were a couple of close ones, the long twos, but this time she gets it from beyond the arc. She's got 16. Sigmund. Missouri. Is it the Bland? Mm. Bland's shot misses everything. It comes down right into the hands of a Miss Wright. Hancock from three again. Not this time. Bland will just let that one go out of bounds. Perna and Bailey back into the game now for the Lady Aces. Bland and Missouri sit down. Perna with the ball. Is it a cross court? Stolen by Hancock. He gets another two. These are 18. Got four minutes left in the game. Oh, out of bounds to the Aces.
Sigmund makes a pass and stolen by Maddox to Bailey. I think, Bailey I think in the lane and good. Nothing good. I think every pass that they had on that offensive series was at least touched yeah. by the defenders. And eventually they just got it away. I think this is going to shape up into one of these games too, Jim, where there's not going to be a lot. The officials are going to let them play a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are already gonna, done that. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll blow the whistle for something egregious or dangerous. But aside from that, I think this game is... Academic. 25. So, yeah, the, this game is decided. There's no doubt about how it's going to go. Perna misses. So... Run this time off here and try not to stop the clock any more than we have to. Yeah, really. Misses that one too. Oh, Look at that one bounced twice on the rim. <laughs> Quick feed down low. Jones pass out to Maddox. Maddox in the lane. It's no good. Pazur with the board. Gives it up to Leah Seitz. Bailey from the side, oh. off the rim again. Maddox rebound. Bailey rebound. Is Under two blend? minutes now. Sights. There was a wide open 15 footer and Ooh. another one off the wall. <laughs> so they'll bring Sigmund and uh, Alyssa Sights back in. to go. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Conley with another two. She's at eight. Sigmund off the board. Conley with the rebound. Down to Maddox, off her, out of bounds. She'll lose it, yep. Hancock back in the game for Bailey. Sigmund rebound, gives it to Bailey. Corey Perna inside. Coming to the corner with 10 seconds. Sigmund the ball, Bailey get the shot, take five. The, take the shot. Off the that rim, Perna rebound, and that is the end of the game. If you want to call it that. <laughs> Lopsided affair to be sure. 44 to four. Shut out the second half, wow. Yeah, this will be one that- uh, This yeah, will be one that- They'll want to forget. Yes. 
Well, I'll I'll take care of the uh, lady aces <laughs> story. Uh, while you, while you, okay. While you tally things up. I'll, I'll be adding as we go too here. Uh, for the uh, lady aces, really just uh, two players scoring points. I mean, and uh, they were both in the first half. Leah Seitz uh, with a bucket for two, and Lindsey Bergman with a bucket for two, and that accounts for the entirety of the uh, four points that the Aces managed to uh, score here this evening. And aside from that, uh, it's like uh, America's Maddox led the way in the first half, and then uh, yeah. Maya, Mia Hancock stepped in for the second half, Jim. Yes, that's true. Uh, we had, uh, Jones had two points. Uh, Bailey had four. Hancock led them in scoring with, I believe, 18. Yep, that's what I've got. And Casey Conley had eight. And America's Maddox with 12. Yep. Or their 44. They so. held her scoreless in the second half. I guess that's that's something. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she did miss a couple shots that's in the second true. half. And really, I mean, not a lot of free throws. Uh, no. So inconsequential uh, and just a... Uh, just a horrendous night shooting for the Lady Aces, Jim. There's no two ways about it. They need to, they need to sharpen up their offense. Uh, they had some problems with some of the, 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 the Hilltop girls' heights and uh, arm spans, but just too many passes getting picked off right. and being lost out of bounds. And, and again, just, uh, just some really, really awful cold shooting here tonight. Too many passes were errant. Yeah. So. So anyway, it was ugly. There's no two ways about it. And uh, nobody feels gonna, worse gonna, than the girls. Yeah, and we're not going to say too much more about it beyond that. So I'm ready to call it a yes. night if you are too, Jim. Call it a so, night. Well, we're going to stick around, though, of course. Jim and I will be here. The varsity match is uh, coming up. And check the program guide because we'll have coverage for that for you, too, here on Hicksville Community Television. But with that, we're going to wrap it up for this evening. Thanks again to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships underwriting our coverage here on Hicks TV. And with that, uh, one last time, final score, 44-4. to four, The uh, Hilltop Lady Cadets, JVs, Waylay, the Lady Aces. No two ways about it. For Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play, -play, and for Chris Warner running the camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.